There are two methods to connecting cameras to an XDI recorder. Which method you use is determined by the camera you are adding. The first method is called DirectNet. You can only use this method if the CoStar cameras you are using are DirectNet cameras. If you are not sure, you can look at the product documentation supplied with the camera or go to our website, costarvideo.com and look under the product tab for the camera model you are connecting. DirectNet is a proprietary network scheme that allows the recorder to automatically find the cameras without any pre-programming of the camera. It is designed as a plug and play system. DirectNet cameras settings like record, quality, frames per second, and camera sensor settings can also be set from the recorder without having to connect to the camera directly. An on bit camera, the second method, sometimes referred to as a third-party camera or a standard network camera, is a camera that uses the standard IPv4 network connection and on bit conformance protocol. on bit is a set standard in the video industry, allowing recorders from one manufacturer to be used with cameras from another manufacturer. Some of you might be asking why I have to add a CoStar camera as a third-party camera. CoStar offers standard on bit cameras as well as our DirectNet cameras in case you need to add our cameras to another manufacturer's recorder. Even our DirectNet cameras can be programmed to be on bit conformant even though by default they are set to DirectNet. Connecting a DirectNet camera is simple. Connect the network cable from the camera to one of the PoE ports on the back of the recorder or to a PoE switch that is connected to the EXT port on the back of the recorder. Do not connect the camera to the client port. It will not power your camera and you will not be able to find the camera. This port is for remote viewing of the recorder only. Once connected, you must wait about two minutes for the camera to completely boot up. On any of the live video screens of the recorder, right click and choose camera registration. When the camera registration screen opens, the DirectNet camera should automatically populate on the left hand side of the screen. Click the apply button down below. This will exit the camera registration screen and take you to the live video screen where you should see video from your camera. Connect the network cable from the camera to one of the PoE ports on the back of the recorder or to a PoE switch that is connected to the EXT port on the back of the recorder. Do not connect the camera to the client port. It will not power your camera and you will not be able to find the camera. This port is for remote viewing of the recorder only. Once connected, you must wait about two minutes for the camera to completely boot up. On any of the live video screens of the recorder, right click and choose camera registration. Click scan. Third party scan. Go to advanced. Change the type to manual. By default, the recorder has a network scheme of 10.10.254.254. .10 Subnet mask of 255. Dot two five five dot zero dot zero and a gateway of ten dot ten dot two five four dot one. We must use this scheme in the setup of the camera. Plug a network cable into the network port of your laptop. Plug the other end into one of the PoE ports on the back of the recorder or to a PoE switch connected to the EXT port on the back of the recorder. Do not connect to the client port. 
Click on the Network tab, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, next to the time on your laptop. Choose Network and Sharing Center. Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on the local area connection and choose Properties. Scroll down to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4. For the IP address, use 10.10.254.10. For the subnet mask, choose 255.255.0.0. For the default gateway, use 10.10.254.1. Click OK and OK to exit from the network connections and the network sharing center. Load the camera's network search tool or software. Open the software. Scan for the cameras. Change the camera's network settings. The IP address should be 10.10.254.x. X is any number between 1 and 254 that are not being used on the network. We know the recorder is 254, and we know the laptop is 10. We cannot use these numbers. If two items on the same network have the same IP address, they will cancel each other out and you will not be able to see them. We chose 100. You can choose any number other than what's already being used. The subnet mask will be 255, dot two five five dot zero dot zero. The default gateway will be ten dot ten dot two five four dot one. Save these settings. Set up the camera for motion recording, frames per second, quality, sensor settings, etc. Unlike DirectNet cameras, you will not be able to change these settings from the recorder. Save your settings. On any of the live video screens of the recorder, right-click and choose Camera Registration. Click on Scan. Third-party scan. For the protocol, choose OnVIP Conformance. Choose Auto for the scan type. Click the Scan button. The recorder will start searching the network for the cameras. Look on the left-hand side of the screen under Cameras. The camera should populate in the list. This can take up to two minutes. If the recorder does not find the cameras, change the scan type and type in the IP address of the camera. And click the scan button again. If the recorder still does not find the camera, please call CoStar Video Technical Support for help to determine why the recorder cannot find the camera. Exit the third-party scan. Locate your camera under the camera list. Left-click the camera and choose Add.
you will be asked to authenticate the camera. Type the username and password. If the password is successful, you will see the camera video on the right hand side of the screen. Click apply down at the bottom of the screen. This will exit you to the live video screen where you should see video from the camera you just added. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Thomas Stewart. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us with the information below. Have a great day.